Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is Alishan Mao and welcome to more Action Sports SD camera reviews. I have three cameras sitting here on my table and we will start with the Ecmove S5000 or Ecmove 5000 Full HD Action Sports Camera, 1080p uh, 30 frames per second and then of course 720p 60 frames per second etc etc. Now I wouldn't be calling it a GoPro clone because all of these actually started to look more and more like GoPros with all the GoPro authentic accessories in there that they can uh, they supply and they can use actually with all those shells and stuff but once again I'm not gonna call them the GoPro clone let's call them the SJ4000 clones maybe I'm not sure. So let's take a closer look at this camera, uh, ECMO S5000, see what's inside the box, what you get when you buy it, and also we will take a look at its features. So here is the ECMO S5000 inside the box. Now let's take a look at the uh, rear of the box and read some of these features. So I'm gonna go very very quick. It has a three digital triple eight plus icon monochrome LCD display. It has a 12 uh, 20 megapixels image sensors. Four colors are available. It has a wireless Wi-Fi. Well, this means it should have an app uh, for Android and iOS as well. It has a TN LCD image resolution. You can easily read right here. OSD language, video resolution, that's what we are most interested in and that is up to 1080p 30 frames per second and the movie format is MOV H264 supports the external memory up to 32 GB okay shutter control is electronic what else is more interesting that is waterproof shell up to 30 meters supports Windows XP Vista 7.8 Android and iOS applications and the other thing that we are interested is uh, interested in is the battery that is 1150 mAh 170 degree HD wide angle lens 4x digital zoom not the optical zoom 2.0 USB HDMI and AV out ooh nice AV out this means we can use it for uh, you know uh, FPV camera we will see very very soon once we turn this camera on and start testing its features then we have uh, 150 minutes on 1080p shooting hmm that's nice the total weight is 55.2 G's without batteries and 80 G with batteries okay here we are outside the box so we have a camera with the shell then we have mounts, uh, angled mount and flat mount for the uh, mounting on the car or on the helmet. And then we have a bracket mount here uh, for your car dashboard came probably most, most probably. And the other extensions to the mount, wrist mount, uh, I, if I am right, maybe head mount, I'm not sure. We have a wall outlet and USB cable, a battery and two zip ties. All right, so let's uh, oh, not forget the, uh, the user manual here. Let's take a quick look at the camera itself so looking at ACMOV S5000 quality wise uh, for the material I would say I'm pretty satisfied for what they used it's not kind of bricky like the other cameras are. Very fine lining, very fine finish and beveled edges. However, it's still uh, the plastic or the material gives you a cheapish look. Once again, the build quality is really, really nice. So here is the ECMO S5000, okay, uh, what I'm going to do is first compare the dimensions very very quickly because I'm sure the first question will be from my viewers that 
if we can use this camera in FYG for handheld gimbal or any other gimbals that are designed for GoPro camera. Just now I posted a video showing how to use the Xiaomi E camera on FYG4 gimbal right here. So now let's see if this camera will fit in our gimbal or not. Alright, now it's time for the size comparison. Um, so basically speaking, if I put the ECMO in front of GoPro, it completely hides. So back to back, no difference in dimensions. All right, as you can see, but I believe there is a difference in thickness. So in thickness, GoPro is a tad fat or thicker. All right, uh, rest of the dimensions are same. Now compare to uh, Xiaomi E camera, we see that uh, Xiaomi is a little bit longer, okay, wider, I would say. A tad taller as well because we have seen that Xiaomi E is, is a tad taller or uh, bigger than the GoPro camera and that's why it doesn't fit the FYG4 exactly uh, right perfectly inside and for the thickness once again and for the thickness once again Xiaomi is thicker or fatter than the ECMO S5000 that means the ECMO S5000 will fit the FYG4 or other GoPro gimbals just perfect let's give it a try right away There you are. So you can see it fits the gimbal FYG4 handheld gimbal just perfectly and balances real nice as well. You might want to tweak your gimbals a bit maybe later depending on how your gimbals are behaving but for now for me it is a perfect fit in FYG4 gimbal. So that's a plus point for ECMO S5000. Okay, so let us check the uh, Wi-Fi feature on this camera, All right? So I will turn the camera on and uh, I will turn my phone on. Okay, um, we will turn the Wi-Fi on from here and the green light turns on. It will take a while until the Wi-Fi turns on completely and then we go to the ECMO iCam application and wait until it finds the camera it says it doesn't find the camera basically what you need to do is go and find in your Wi-Fi the IV, IDBV or DVB something and say connect if it asks for password the password is 123456789 once you're connected, you can go ahead and turn on the application and you should be able to find the camera. Alright, so rotate and you can see you have the picture. Now one thing that actually really surprises me is that the delay is very very short, I mean very little, which is really nice, very cool. Yay, I'm right here. So you can see the delay comparatively to Xiaomi E camera, the delay is very, very little. So here we have a Xiaomi E camera with Wi-Fi on and uh, I go to the Xiaomi E Wi-Fi application. Connecting to camera that the delay is huge. So comparatively, ECMO S5000 on Wi-Fi has a very, very little delay, which is a very nice thing if somebody wants to do aerial filming within the range of a Wi-Fi unit. This one is just too much, too much delay. That the delay is very, very short, I mean very little, which is really nice, very cool. Yay, I'm right here. 
So you can see the delay comparatively to Xiaomi E camera, the delay is very, very little. And uh, using this application, of course, you can take pictures, you can zoom in and out. Okay, you can zoom in up to 4x. But remember, this is uh, just a digital zoom, not the optical zoom. Come on, zoom out. Okay, so this is just a digital zoom. Um, then you can change the setup, all right? You can format the camera or format the card actually. Uh, you can start stop video and you can take a picture. So let's take a picture of this boat. All right, we got the picture. And we can see the picture. There. Similarly, you can record the videos and later play, play them back. So very neat, very neat little feature on this one with the Wi-Fi. Not sure what is the range on this one.